it is back to school 2019 we're talking about what planner should you use we're gonna dive in i'm gonna tell you my secret cup of awesome sauce to stay organized across my entire life including my homeschool let's dive in Hey friends, welcome back. If you're new here, it's fantastic to have you. I'm Abigail, the homeschool hippie, and here on this channel, we talk about all things homeschool. Clearly, my name says so. No, <laughs> um, but seriously, I do have one quick funny little story to tell you. This is the second time I'm recording this video because the first time I didn't actually hit record. That's how organized this mom is. But we are talking about planners today and we are going to dive right on in with our back to school excitement. Now this may look like a familiar planner to you guys. It is no secret that I share a love for happy planners like no other. But we're about to do something in here. Step one to my secret sauce. Throw out your happy planner. Yeah! Goodbye! planner because I have something even better. Okay, so now that I've made a mess and I've got your attention, let's talk about this beauty. Have you all ever heard the term Franken planner? If you're a happy planner guru like I was, you know that Franken planners mean you take out the guts and you put in the meat that you want. Sounds simple, right? There's just one problem. Even when you do that, there is never the perfect planner for you. I have some key elements that are required for my planners, and this year I set out to find the perfect planner, y'all. Okay guys, meet the One Stop Planner Shop. With the One Stop Planner Shop, you purchase a club membership, and inside of that is tons of planners. You get access to a Facebook community, and it's overall a super budget-friendly option. I've really enjoyed using the One Stop Planner Shop for both my life planning and my homeschool planning. I have a membership to both clubs and I can tell you that they are amazing. There is everything you could ever ask for at your disposal. Here is Kristen, the creator behind the One Stop Planner Shop. She has so many amazing tools available for us to use in the members area. Once you click into the members area, you're able to access either club that you want to look at. And we're gonna start real quick in the teacher club here. You can see you get cover designs, you get lesson planners, you have a getting started tab that tells you exactly where to start. You can choose all kinds of different calendars and forms and even digital stickers. If you click into these classroom forms, you are going to find attendance trackers, grade trackers, student data, create your own forms, and even a seating chart creator. Now, while those tools don't all apply to homeschoolers, what I find extremely helpful is once you click into the all classroom forms, there's quite a list of things that are included, everything from your daily schedule down to specific student trackers, and at the very bottom of this page, you're going to find that there are even specific forms for homeschoolers and note taking. Now these are super helpful. Additionally, each resource is able to be used in PowerPoint or you can use Google Drive if you don't have access to PowerPoint. Now, moving on to outside of the teacher shop, if you come over to the regular life planner, you can see that there are tons of resources available to you here as well, including technical support and a full how-to video library. And each month there are extras that are available in both clubs for members. Once you look in the organizational tools, it is easy to see why this is my new planner choice and how I'm able to keep on top of staying organized. With everything from notes and to-dos to planning a vacation, journals and goals, and tracking financials, 
even down to what I'm having for dinner. My planner, I am now able to 100% plan every single thing out for my day in precisely the exact way I want it. This is my step two to my secret awesome sauce is to check out the one-stop planner clubs and purchase the one or both that fit your needs. The next step is to download the planner that you like the best or fit your needs the best. And it's noteworthy that you can move around anything or merge files together as well once you have them downloaded. And all of that information can be found in the tutorial videos on the website. Once you have picked out your planner, you can either print it plain so that you can decorate it or not decorate it, whatever floats your boat um, off of the computer. However, I'm a digital kind of girl and I really enjoy doing digital editing and making my planner pages look super cute. So I thought I would take a minute and do a little mini plan with me here in the middle of this video and show you how easy it is to change everything just on this one My Busy Week page. Once you've decided that you are ready to print your files, you can either print them from home, use a discount print company like the Homeschool Printing Company, or you can have them printed at Staples, and then you can use a binding system or a regular hole punch. However, I use the Arc Punch from Staples so that I can use my Happy Planner rings. Before I dive into showing you guys the planner, I do want to mention that the hole punch that I use is the ARC hole punch from Staples. They also have their own disc system, so instead of buying Happy Planner rings or using a recycled Happy Planner, you can get their version of the rings. Um, and then I'm using the HP MV printer, and the outside of my planner is the Happy Planner. I did this because this is just a little bit thicker. I think if I went with a cardstock and um, a thicker on my laminate, this would be okay, but I really like the thickness of this, especially since it's going to run around my kids. So, um, I did use my Happy Planner for the outer, and these are the Happy Planner rings. So quickly, just to refresh, this uh, cover is a recycled Happy Planner cover, and on the inside here is one of the One Stop Planner shop templates that I used. This will serve as a page divider for my weekly lesson plans and quickly flipping through to a standard July 2019 overview calendar. I didn't put anything on this because I wanted to show you guys what the original looked like. And funnily here, I accidentally punched this page backwards and didn't realize it. So it is in my planner backwards. But here is a cute My Busy Week that I did design in the PowerPoint and it is decorated in Halloween stuff because Eliza Bell is turning four this week and she wanted a Halloween birthday party. And now here is the Looking Back, Looking Forward and August divider and you can kind of see I have done some editing and made this page super cute. Um, flipping back really quickly to remind you what the original looked like. There's the original, and here is a flash forward to all of the things that you can customize. So you really can make this planner exactly what you want. You can also insert pictures, which is super fun. And behind all of my monthly and weekly planners is my student records. Um, and starting first is Nehemiah's, which is, of course, a superhero theme because he loves that. I have the attendance tracker, which I mainly use just to mark what days so that we do like structured curriculum or our Rebecca lessons. There's an expense tracker, 
website passwords and activity trackers for when he does his extracurricular activities. And then I love these goal sheets. Um, these will be super helpful. And so each of the kids have one of those and I repurposed a different sheet for our phonics test and speed drill scores with our Abeka curriculum. And then look how cute this mermaid is for Jezebel. And of course she has all of the same stuff in her. So I'm going to quickly flip through and find Eliza Bell's cover so that you can see it as well, which is also mermaid, but it is a little bit different. And I think that that's part of the fun is you have so many options for your page dividers and you can customize each and every one of them. Thank you guys for watching. Before you go, be sure to check out the description box. There is the link to hop over to the One Stop Planner Shop and a discount code for you guys down in the description box. If you guys like this video, you are going to want to come back on Tuesday. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my sweet Jezebel, who is six years old this year, and she's going to be showing you what planner she's going to be using as she learns how to use a planner to manage her extracurricular activities, and her schoolwork. Thank you guys for watching. Again, don't forget that code is down in the description box. It's only good through August 5th, so be sure to check that out. With that, peace, love, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.